Hello, uh, today we want to give a little further introduction into our SBL, Spontaneous Breathing Lung System. You may have seen the introductory video at our website, and we're just going to expound on that a little bit and answer some of the questions that we're getting about this system that we offer. The SBL, Spontaneous Breathing Lung, incorporates the Michigan Instruments TTL or New View test lungs. And an SBL module that is mounted into those units. Now that SBL module can be mounted at the time of purchase uh, and so you can receive any of our models with an SBL or as an SBL or you can have it retrofit as long as you're working with the current generation, that's generation 3 uh, TTL or New View system. And if you have questions about that contact us and we can let you know whether your unit is eligible for that upgrade. Uh, the SBL, again, gives you that spontaneous breathing simulations that are so useful with many applications for testing and training. I have one set up here on a single lung, and we have the head simulation module in place as well, and I'm going to just start that running. Sometimes I have a little demonstration so that you can see that this patient is actually breathing for us. Now the, the test lung it works in exactly the same way as it has our traditional, well-known, well-respected TTL and NUBU systems. So the still have a variable compliance. You still have pressure gauges for airway and lung um, connections for. Uh, uh, optional resistances that you can apply and it really works in exactly the same way it has the same uh, physical and performance capabilities in fact if you turn off the SBL the unit can be used as our traditional units have been used okay so it's not hard connected the arm that lifts so that can still work in the same way now in the module you have the connections here for power, and you have a communication connection if, you, if this is a new view system. Again, the SBL can go into uh, our lungs, whether it be TTL or new view. And uh, that's on this side of the SBL module. On this side of the module is the lifting arm. And that lifting arm is driven by a motor and is again can uh, lift the top plate of the test lung and that's what provides us with this spontaneous breathing simulation. That lifting arm and that module is controlled with our SBL control software. That's PC based software, very simple and we believe very intuitive software that allows you to control the breathing rate, the tidal volume, the inspiratory time, and the breathing waveform, which can be either square or sinusoidal. Uh, you can also pause that software at any time. There's a pause button and a, and a play. When you pause, you can make changes to the settings in the software, but you can also make changes to your compliance or your resistance settings here, or any other setup that you have applied to the test lung. Now, I'm going to restart that, but Again, this system is available, the SBL module can be, can be put into the, any of our models, the single adult, the dual adult, or the adult infant. And people may ask, well, why would I want the dual adult now that I can do spontaneously, spontaneous breathing with one lung system? Well, you still have all the applications that you might like to use a dual adult for. You can still have a variable compliance or resistance to each lung. Um, so you have asymmetric lung disease. So there's a variety of training and, uh, and testing uh, applications where the dual adult lung might still be very much appropriate for you. But you can be driving one of, that, one of those lungs, the right lung, with the SBL. And, and then there's the adult infant. Again, that, the SBL module can be uh, placed into the adult side of this system. And now what you have is the ability to do spontaneous breathing with the adult lung. And you can even, through the use of a coupling clip, do spontaneous breathing simulations on the infant lung. 
And so this is a little different than thing, what we offered in the past. You can do spontaneous breathing with just a single adult and a single infant, but you can disconnect that coupling clip and still use them independently. So you still have the same kind of uh, use and applications that have been available on our traditional TTL and NewView systems. So from this point, I really want to, we're going to get more into the software, how to operate the software, what functions and features are available there. But we'll do that in a separate video so we can focus on that. If you have any questions about the availability, the applications, uh, and, and how to order your system, then please contact Michigan Instruments. Thanks for your time.